Hi, how are you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkyGuitarLessonsOnline.com. We're going to be looking at Sugar Mice by Marillion in this video lesson, taking us all the way back to 1987 from the Clutching at Straws album. We are going to be doing the verses, the chorus, and also that incredible solo from Steve Rovery, which we're going to be featured later in the video. Of course, if you enjoy the video, don't forget, Please subscribe, click the button there, take you to my YouTube channel and you'll be able to subscribe. Make sure you get all future videos. The tablature and the Guitar Pro 6 file can be found by clicking in the link below, it takes you to my website. Well, enough of me talking. Let's get the cameras in close and let me show you how to play Sugar Mice. So don't go away. Preview. So we start off with your little finger and your third finger on third fret on the B on the high E and we're going to play E string, third fret B and open G. Then we put our first finger on second fret lifting the little finger and we're going to play second fret E, third fret B and again open G. So we get this line. Then we go put a little, little finger back on, we play that 3-3-0. Three, three, and then we've got this little line where he's going to, where you play 2-3-2 two, two on the high E, back to 3 on the B, to the open G. So the complete line Now that's used continually through the verse that pattern, but what we've got is a movement on each bar between the G in the bass and the C in the bass. So that's why I find it easier on finger style because I can play this G third fret on the high on the low E. Can you see what I'm doing there? I'm playing the G at the same time. Then I hit the G again. Then we go back and play this. And now I'm going to move that second finger down to third fret on the A string and repeat the same thing, this time using the C. And then switch back. And it keeps on moving backwards and forwards between them two chords, between this G and this C and 9. The only change is on the second time he plays the C and also the third, fourth time round playing the C, he plays this. So we get the C, we start off the same. And then we've got this open, two open strings, G and B, with a hammer onto first fret on the B. And we pick third fret on the high E. And then we've got open on B. First fret B, open B, and then open G. So it would sound like this. Then back into the G again. So he does it the second time, playing the C, and the fourth time. Once you've done that, the rest of the verses are just the normal. that through until we get to the pre-chorus. Now the pre-chorus is moving down a G, uh, sorry, a D chord. So we play and take the D shape and we're going to play open D, second G, three on the B, and then we're going to play an open high E to two on the high E, back to three on the D, two on the G, open D, to two on the G, three on the B, two on the high E, to three on the high E with a little finger, and then we do this little two, three, two, back to three on the B, two, two on the G. So, up. 
Then we put our little finger back in on three and three on the B and the E, and put our second finger on third fret on the A, first finger on second fret on the D. So it's like a C9 chord. And we're just gonna play down. And repeat. And then we move our second finger up to third fret on the G. And we're gonna play that from the G and then cross into the D again and then down all the strings. Back to the G note. We go to the C add nine. Then to the D again. C add nine to the G C add nine and then back to the G and at that point that's when the solo starts so the band will continue playing through on that movement between the two chords, but Steve Rovery starts his solo, which is what we're going to look at now. So I'm going to play through the solo and I'm going to take you through note by note. So stick around. <laughs> So let's work through the solo. Solo starts off with third fret on the G string. Then we're gonna play three, five, seven on the low E string. Then we're gonna to change to five to seven on the A, to five on the D. Then we're going to play a slide from 7 to 9 on the D. Going across to 7 on the G. To 9, sorry, 8 on the B. That phrase. Then we're going to do a slide up to 9 on the G. 8. 10, 8 on the B, back to 10 on the B, full tone bend, with 10 on the high E, then two more bends, full tone bends on 10th fret on the B, do another bend, and then we've got 8, 10 on the B, going back to 5 on the G, Sliding up to seven and one more slide to nine. So that phrase sounds like this. Then we've got 12 on the high E going across to a full tone bend on 15 on the B back to 15. Then we've got back on 13 on the B, we're gonna do 13, 12, 13. 
This next phrase starts on 12 on the G. We do 13, 12 on the B. Then we repeat that. 12. Repeat again. 12. So that phrase will sound like this. Now we've got a run up starting on 14 fret on the D to 12 on G, 14 on G, 12 on B, 15 on B, 12 on the high E, 14 on high E to 15 on the high E. Now we go back to 14 and we're going to do a 14, 15, pull off to 14, pull off to 12. And then back to 14 on the G. The phrase. Now we go to 12 on the B, play that twice. Go to 15 on the B, play that 12 twice. Then we're going to go and slide into the 15 on the B, going across to 12 on the high E to 14 on the high E, starting with this half tone bend. So the line sounds like. Now that bend there, when we're doing on that 14, we got this half tone bend. Back to 14, we pick it. Really exaggerated vibrato he plays on there. To 15 with a full tone bend. And then we've got this line where we're going to play from 13 on the B to 15 on the B. Back to 13 to 12 on the B to 12 on the G. Finishing on 12 on the D. Let me get you, let me take you through that line then slowly because that is one of the key parts of this solo is that bend. Next line. So we're playing 12, 14 on the D to 12 on the G. Back, doing a 14 to 12 on the D. Then we do a 13, 12 on the B. Back to 13 on the B. To 15 on the B. Then we're going to repeat that, that half tone, moving up from 15 on the B. 12 on the high E. 14. And we repeat that similar motive on the bending. This time when he bends on that 15 on the B string, we don't release it, we keep it there. So he's going. And then we all the way down to third fret on the low E string. So coming out of that phrase, we've got this. So he's hitting that, so he's come out of that solo. It's that whammy bar on the end there. So when I'm playing there, I'm playing this third fret on the G. I'm playing three on the high E, three on the B, and open G. Then I bring my third finger up to third fret on the A. And I put my first finger on first fret on the B, and I'm going to be hitting open G, first fret B, open E. Back to third fret on the G. To the C. And then he plays this second fret on the G, full tone bend release. Back to the G. I'm doing there, I'm playing 10 on the D, 
9 on the G, 8 on the B. Back to the G. then band comes to a halt and we go back to playing that clean section again slowing it right down just finishing it well i hope you've enjoyed learning how to play sugar mice as much as i have enjoyed playing it teaching it has been a number of years since i've played this song all the information tablature and the guitar pro 6 file don't forget Link below, take it to my website. It's all there for you to download, all free of charge. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget, click on the subscribe button. There's more videos coming all the time, so you will be notified when they're posted. But until then, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com, thanking you for your company, and I do look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>